Welcome listeners to the gathering place of two big bald buddies who dare to delve into the horrors of the unknown. This is the horror basement and beyond, where Johnny and his co-conspirator in all things mysterious, the one and only Jim Jam. They take you on a hair-raising journey through the realms of horrors, where shadows whisper secrets, cryptids lurk in the shadows, and extraterrestrial beings may just be watching. But fear not, because the only truly frightening thing in our basement is our passion for the unexplained. We're not just your average podcast. We're the big bald buddies who bring you a spine-tingling blend of horror, mysterious phenomena, cryptids, aliens, and even a dash of culinary curiosity. Yes, you heard that right. We'll explore the eerie and satiate your appetite for the strange and unusual, while keeping it as funny as we can. So buckle up as we venture into the depths of the horror basement and beyond, where nightmares come to life, mysteries unfold, and two big bald buddies guide you through the unknown with a blend of terror, humor, and a hunger for the unexplained. It's time to face your fears and join us in the darkness, because down here every creak, every rustle, and every story has a sinister tale to tell. Welcome to the horror basement and beyond. Welcome to the horror basement and beyond with the big bald buddies, Jim Jam and Johnny. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny. As always, Jim Jam is here with us. Jim Jam here. What is up, everyone? We are working on year 10. Yes, we forgot to mention it last week. Yeah. Uh, happy anniversary to year 9 to us uh, last week. Uh, if you stuck around this long, greatly appreciate you. Uh, October 1st, by the way. Yeah, October 1st was the first time we ever did a podcast. First, it's actually probably uh, sooner, like in September, when we recorded it. But we yeah. uploaded it on October 1st. Yeah. Um, and it's nine years ago. Uh, you know what's crazy? Is all the stuff we accomplished in the first year of the podcast. Yeah. Like all the... How dumb horror, we were. How, or, or, how many horror icons we got on the podcast. Yeah. In it, the first year. First year and uh, how nerve-wracking that was. Yeah. What all we thought we needed to do this... Or I thought I needed like a fucking soundboard and a mixing board. Yeah. Multiple different mics. I, yeah, we had a I, bunch. We spent hundreds of dollars on mics and stuff we didn't need. Well, they didn't have the technology. So now we... I mean, technically, not everything was out there. True. Nine years ago. I'm going to pick this up, but this is all we use now, dog. Yeah, one microphone. One microphone and it's a USB microphone. We don't need no fucking... You don't need a soundboard. Oh, man. The audio issues with that soundboard were fantastic. Dude, we sat there for hours sometimes before recording because audio sounded like shit or something. What a great time. And we still struggled with uh, audio issues uh, for nine years. I forgot to record other people's audio. Which was the downfall of that collab. (laughs) Yeah, nine they years. Finally, of, got tired of me. Of struggling audio. Uh, we kind of figured it out now, though. Not really. So, not really. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So uh, we've had a good time. It's been a fun run. Um, Damn, say it like this will be the last one we do. <laughs> That's how it was going, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, just, uh, when he said this was a fun <laughs> run, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's over, guys. See ya. Booze. We're on a decade, dog. Uh, Shit. I, I, fucking, three, I, I push the microphone over. They hear a clunk. And if we would have started start this three years sooner, we'd been up there with fucking and Joe Rowe. I don't remember how long. It's about three or four years before us, right? I don't know, dude. Don't Something like that. I don't really care. I don't. I don't. Uh, but anyways. I don't grade myself compared to Joe Rogan. We can't. We're nowhere near on that level. Um. Yeah. Uh. We've met a lot of great people through the, these years doing this. Yeah. Um, like, for instance, we're going to, you know, it spawned into doing Big Ball Buddies. Um, and we're doing our, as you hear this, this coming Saturday, we're uh, going to be at Dread Hollow going through the haunt for the Big Ball Buddy Haunt Meetup 3. Yeah. Uh, yeah. we got, so far, we got about three or four people coming. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Be cool if we had a lot more, but it is what it is. It's yeah, just fair. for people. Um, you don't have someone to go to a haunt with, and you want to go to a haunted house. Um, if you have a, like, if you if you're in a relationship and your significant other don't like going to haunts, what about Dano? Oh, 
You need to ask Dano if he's coming this Saturday. He's supposed to, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, if you if you don't have anyone to go to haunt with, if the other doesn't like going to haunts, this is your opportunity. Just go chill, man. Uh, excuse me. We're gonna go through the haunt. Um, like I said, we usually do two haunts. Like we try to go to the Hell's Bar Dam, but after last year and the just horrendous queue line. Like, I've never dealt with a line. We've never dealt with a line like that. And we've been to uh, uh, Halloween Horror Nights. At least there was a line. You know what I'm saying? Might have been a long-ass line. It might have been a two-hour wait line. But goddamn, there was a line. <laughs> it was not chaotic. Uh, it just It was so chaotic, man. So we're not going to do that. We'll go to one, uh, which is southeast of uh, Manchester. Come back over the mountain, probably might might hit up the Waffle House, or something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, somewhere, uh, depending on how late, because uh, we're doing the eight o'clock show, Eastern time there, the eight o'clock um, thing, and for the haunt, so which will be seven hours. So that's why we chose eight o'clock because a lot of people are Central time, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, Dread Hollow was great last year. Yeah, we, yeah, like I said, uh, we usually do the try to eat after. Yeah. We don't want to go through a full belly. No, um, hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler, but it's supposed to start warming back up toward the weekend, which sucks. Um, Nights, it gets cooler. But, but speaking of, Jim Jam was out at uh, Halloween Hollow. I didn't go this weekend. Uh, Good thing he didn't, because he'd have been miserable. It was, it was really hot. Yeah. But a lot of people still showed up um, and still buying some. Uh, flannels for me. Some people were wearing them because it did get a little chilly as the night. Yeah, because it's, it's dropping down to the fifties, but it's getting up to the eighties. The so, uh, yeah, yeah. You because know. I was standing in the little midway between the Hello Video and Big Top Meats, and a breeze come through, dude. Like it almost it made my nipples hard. It got because I was swear I was dude, sweating speaking already. Speaking of nipples, do you, like, what? um, do you, does your nipples get so hard that they hurt? Like, okay. like, I'll be at work, and they got the air conditioner on in the mornings, and it'll be, like, fucking 50 degrees out, and the air, it come in, and mine, and I wear just a short sleeve shirt, because it's going to get warmer through the day. Yeah, yeah. My nipples get so hard, they fucking hurt. Like, they tighten up so much, like, I don't know how women deal with it, dude. You got to put some, uh, some baby May oil. Days you got to put some baby oil on, dog. You gotta get some I know, man, I ain't into that diddy stuff, so. I ain't into that diddy. Did you hear about G Diddy? Oh God, I don't even. Know. Now old Garth is in some shit. No, uh, Garth. Tom Segura is loving this. Allegedly, Garth Brooks. Um, oh G Diddy. I watched the, I watched the video on that, and uh, he's trying to paint it as it was a mutual affair, and he tried to erase all of her text message. Is text messages allegedly? Is what Garth Brooks we're talking about now. I'm not sure how we got on this, but because of G Diddy and uh, and hard nipples. But uh, he tried to he delete all of her messages, and he didn't. And he wanted her. He left some messages like he wanted her to talk about his member and uh, talk sexually about it, and how big his member was, and this and that. What do you say, member? Ah, uh, there's probably another word, but the person that was doing the the oh. video probably on TikTok or whatever. You think his career is ruined? No. Yeah, I don't believe so. No, because um, no one... there will be too many people believe. Because honestly, he's made it sound like she's tried to extort him for money, and once he said no, she brought it legally. So now she said, but so it's a statute of limitation. Ah, but it's been going on. Like uh, this might be recent. Oh, I don't know. Um. So there, there could be enough of non-believers, and and here's the the reason why. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of women and men lie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To fa about famous people, and that only hurts the people that it's actually happened to. And it's a sad, sad thing that um, people this stuff happens to people. 
and you got people that lie about it, and it hurts other people's cases. It's sad, man, because people want fame. They want something out of it, and it ruins it for the people that are actually suffering. But, yeah. All right, well, Johnny, I'm going to come out with my story. Okay, your um, your Halloween Holland story? Yeah. What, what happened, dude? I got essayed by an alien. You squeezed my junk. Mm-hmm. All right, so what? Who? Who? Who are we suing? Gray, the Gray. You so we need to go to Area Fifty One. You think they deal with that? I mean, probably. That's probably where all the lawyers hide. Or what's the one in Colorado or somewhere where like it's not Area Fifty One, but it's like the Area Fifty Two. Sure. <laughs> That's probably, that's probably where you need to go. Um, no, we're not. I'm not making light of you know people that actually went through shit like that. But the the people that are pissed because uh, probably they got hard hard uh, hard up on money, and they had a relationship with someone, and now they're gonna try to spend it on them because they won't give them money to be quiet. Yeah, I'm hope you know if if I don't he, know if he really did them you know force her to do anything, which. I'm gonna shut up. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to celebrity stuff, um, it seems like a lot of. Them. I believe just about every bit of the so, them doing that. The culture in Hollywood and music industry. I think I, once you get to like that famous and stuff, you get really jaded and you thinking, think you can do whatever. Yeah, you think you're above law, and you can yeah, like I said, just you think that like oh. I can go grab that girl because I'm who I am. But it had been happening for decades since the beginning of the industries where people were, were assaulted and like we'll just shut up and shut because shut it up. That's how because they didn't want to lose their opportunities. Mm-hmm. And you see other people doing it. I just thought this was just a well known thing. Even girl I just Figured like that's why. Well, why. I, I that's why it's like it, it is shocking to me that sometimes people are shocked that oh this person did. I was like, and they're all hiding it. All the other celebrities are hiding it. They're all in it, man. Tom Segura was on something with Joe uh, Garth. I would, Where, but my whole thing is, is he's part of the establishment. Who's to say he hasn't done it? True. Like. Don't they say the ones that usually are the ones that are like... Like, he's just making a joke. Yeah. He, you know, the whole a serial killer thing. Like, that's just a joke. He probably... Yeah, because I don't think he ever said nothing about him being like... No. A predator or nothing. No, it's just a joke. Like, oh, he's on tour and these murders fall in line. And his following, like, his, like, fans. Yeah, it's just part of Any a Any post he makes, damn, they're on there talking about, where's the bodies? My grandma or my mom went and saw you at this and hadn't seen her since or something crazy. Yeah, that's just a troll job. Uh, he's he's probably one of the mega trolls then. Like, yeah. On, especially OG Diddy. <laughs> um, <coughs> anyways. Let's Speaking. move into something better. Let's move into the Big Bob Buddy Report. Uh, yeah. So... If you've been listening to us from the get-go... Liam, I just want to apologize for segueing from that to your story. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I, was, I, was, I wasn't trying to connect the two together. Like, I wasn't... I guess but we moved on. We yeah. moved on, and then you just connected them. We, we're in the Big Ball Buddy Report. So, we've moved on. Skyline. And it didn't segue. There's no segue. Okay, I said come after. Okay. So it didn't segue. All right. Skyline, if you've been listening to us for a, a long time, um, a while, uh, you would know Skyline. We love Skyline. Uh, it's about aliens. It's an action sci-fi. Um, so it's not really a thriller or nothing. But These uh, last three, which the third one is Warpath, right? Yeah. Because the first, the second one was Skylines, yeah. and then Skyline Beyond Skyline. Yeah, that was the third one. Okay, well, this I'm talking about. In, this is the fourth with Liam O'Donnell directing. He didn't direct the first one. Oh, did he not? No, no. 
He was involved, but he didn't direct. I, I thought he, he created it. Motherfucker. I gotta look that up. Okay, I thought he was the one that, um, I could be wrong. Anyways, we talked to Liam. He's a great guy. Liam O'Donnell. Um, so, uh, Skyline Warpath is, is, um, you're getting a distribution in, uh, the UK and Irish, Ireland, um, distribution. Oh, my bad. So, yeah, he created it. He yeah. Joshua Cords and Liam, but he didn't direct the first one. Yeah, I just figured. Well, they're all he's in my bad. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. I was like, well, he's the one writing the movie. Okay, so this is the fourth one. Yeah, this is the fourth one, Skyline Warpath. Uh, it's coming our ways from uh, Palisades Park Pictures. Do the third one is that the one that took it to their to their planet? Or is this yes, the other one? third one or yeah, cause yeah, the beyond. Ship, yeah, because ship the ship went to their planet. Yeah, my, yeah. set within the Skyline universe. Two years after the events of Beyond Skyline, the film follows Sua as he leads the resistance against the invading aliens when he discovers the powerful powerful alien radial gauntlet. He must deal with both the corrupt Eric and the army. Of alien invaders, and this is like a true sci-fi action movie, man. There's like a lot of action. There's a lot of like some martial arts. Um, That'd be cool. And it's just, although they're a lot of fun to me. I wish, I wish we can get Ben to play this at four on the, the fourth one. Get to see it on the big screen. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. If you haven't watched any of the Skyline movies, um, the franchise. You should definitely do it, man. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. Yeah. I like aliens, and I like sci-fi, you know, and action movies. and They're a lot of fun, so. This movie will be out sometime in uh, 2025, possibly. Um, um, And just be on the lookout, you know? Like, hit them up. Follow them on Instagram somewhere. Just look up Skyline, maybe. Liam O'Donnell. He's a good guy. All right, so uh, there's a doc, the doc of Chucky, the epidemic or epic documentary um, that's going to be coming out on Shutter in November. It's going to be five hours. I think it said. Uh, I think that's what it said. Uh, will be five hours, two hundred ninety-five minutes. Um, that's four hours and fifty-five minute documentary, Doc of Chucky, and they're going to be going over all of uh, the Chucky stuff, man. Like you know what it took um to make the franchise and all that good stuff. You know how documentaries work. Yeah, behind the scene footage, um, you know how they made the story. All that in them box set we got. Uh, that box set's old now, but it's November the first, guys. On Shutter. Doc of Chucky. I know there's a lot of Chucky fans out there. And uh, as I've said before, he's the weakest character out of all the 80s, 90s. Um, I'd Johnny beat his ass. Fuck him up. I would have beat his ass. That's why I was never scared of him growing up as a kid. Even though it would have been cool if he would have been your buddy. but Realistically, yeah. he's He would have kicked my ass. <laughs> Realistically, he would He's me. one of the, like you said, one of the ones that... Uh... It feels like it, you'd have to be a sleeper and that's not paying attention. Like, I guess he was, like, fast, supposedly, right? But he had little legs. Like, um... I just, he's just short, man. Like, it wouldn't be hard to just hit him with a bat or something and just send him flying. Yeah, because he don't have long range. You can just... But he's just got to be a sneaky little bitch. You know? That's what she is. Yeah, he's sneaky while bitch. you sleep. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I always felt like um, I could beat his ass, even as a kid. But I love the movies. The third one was, I think, my favorite. The one where they went to the military. Um, oh yeah, the, like they did the war games and he put real bullets in it. Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. I don't know why. It was a good movie. I just thought I really so enjoyed that one mo- most. Well, I think of this kind of reminds me of, even though it's not Chucky, but the same kind of feel as uh, War or uh, Toy Soldiers. Yeah. And maybe that's why I really like Toy Soldiers, 
And it, and it kind of, they were kind of around the same area. Thing they yeah. Used. Yeah. That's it, a great movie. Y'all should check out it with Toy Soldiers. Yeah. Wasn't it like a Russian thing? Uh, yeah, they invaded a private school. That's a great movie. Yes. I mean, man, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. But like, what's, Chucky 3 was just, I don't know, it just hit. Was, uh, what's his name in that movie? Frog? Corey Feldman? Was he in it? No clue. You have to look that up. But yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed that. I and mean, I, I might be the only one that thought Chucky 3 was my favorite. I think I went to a Chucky panel at Kanuka, which is held up in February. Yeah. No, it was Sean Astin. Uh, yes, yeah, Sean Astin. Yes. Uh, that's what I was thinking. But uh, yeah, and uh, I said, I think the third one was my favorite. And a woman that was hosting was like, I've never, no one's ever seen we'll that. Wait yeah, we'll wait. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen it, maybe check it out. Are you going to Conduga this year? Next year? I was contemplating on... Reserve the room. I was contemplating on setting up, you know, just because we, we'd we have to do panels. Uh, What if we did out of the box? Do we have to do horror? Or do they expect us to do horror? I guess that we can still... We could, like we did all... How many? Oh, uh, just eight going. hours. I don't want to Look, do it. That's a lot. Okay, never mind, no. Uh, I don't know if we'll uh, be uh, doing panels or not. We might just go just to hang, hang out or something. I don't know. How much are day passes? They're more expensive on Saturday. 50 bucks? 30 front. bucks? 35? I don't know. I'll have to see closer to time. And maybe I can talk to Todd and see if we can work something out a little bit different. Uh, and not have to do eight hours. Like, can we just do two? Like, do our live recording of the podcast and... Uh, is it you, you know you remember which one did uh we got a lot of people in there aliens cryptids yeah but maybe we can do a, a segment of both maybe figure out like because you know like cryptids and like UFOs kind of they try to say to go hand in hand see I sat in on a cryptid panel and this one guy he like really knew about cryptids made me feel pretty stupid but people still came and listened to us yeah bullshit yeah but uh. I went ahead and reserved uh, a did suite. You, did you get that? Yeah. How much is it? It's one hundred fifty dollars a night after taxes. Sweet. How many rooms you want? Got two queen beds and a pull-out couch, and a small dinette kitchen with a refrigerator and stove. As of right now, or are you just playing by yourself? I, just, not- I got it. And I was like, well, if if anything, I I have it and I can cancel it if. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's, Talk to Amy and like, oh, if anything, we can split stuff. It'd be a lot cheaper than fucking like, yeah. well, over there. Plus, it's got like a little kitchen area where, if anything, you could blow up an air mattress and throw it in the floor. Dear Lord, we can go to that one cult restaurant. <gasps> Dude, the Yellow Deli. Yes. I, I think Amy would be down for it if we do stuff besides going to the con. We can just do that stuff like... Go to the con maybe in the afternoon or something and get, check out local restaurants too. They get a big ball buddy thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to do uh, like the nighttime stuff was fun. Mm-hmm. The, um, the uh, yeah, anyways, the adult track was a lot of fun, but some of the panels were fun. Yeah. I, mean, I would like to host like one panel maybe. Like I said, I'll talk about But like, not, I don't want to host a bunch of panels, but. I'm not worried about buying a because the pass is like fifty bucks for three days. But if y'all, even if you wanted to come down there one night, like y'all didn't want to do the whole weekend, you know what I'm saying? We have to wait and see. Anyways, we're discussing our plans. People are like, "Fuck it, why? I don't care about y'all talking about this shit." People like hearing about real life stuff. Y'all know how this goes, though. Yeah, we we get. Who's not going to Conover? Let us know if you're going. I really enjoy it. Unlike, besides this year, it sucked because uh, that relative passed away. So, uh, you went Friday night and had to leave Saturday, right? Yeah, that sucked. Um, so stream is uh, as we know, is new horror film from the Terrifier team. Uh, we'll be getting a digital release before Halloween. It is official. Is it I think good? we discussed this at What's it going October fifteenth. Oh, the stream box on it. Fandango at home, iTunes, and Apple TV. Show. It's a violin. Fuck off. 
Never mind, guys. But some people like Apple TV. So. Yeah. I don't have Apple TV. No, I guess. Well, I guess you'll be able to bootleg it. <sighs> oh, sorry. We're not supposed to talk about that. That's a real thing. Yeah. Um, Why don't they try to make a deal with fucking like down? Because it's can... not. Uh, I thought Terrifier was. This stream box now. Let's be honest. Stream should be on Tubi. Are you a third? <laughs> I mean, ter- yeah. but what's Terrifier on? You know, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey uh, Part Two is on uh, Paramount. Mm-hmm. Or is it Peacock? Paramount. I One of them. Article. Ooh. It's out right now. I think um, because they have their own Halloween section right now. And uh, they got a lot of movies on uh, it's Peacock. Peacock, yeah. Peacock has a lot of horror movies on right now. It's what the uh, what's they always do, but like it's really like. Um, you've been there. I think we went to McMinnville Walmart, and they actually have uh, a bunch of the horror things over in the movie section. I don't know what you mean by horror things. The toys and stuff. Oh, I didn't. Th- yeah, right beside the DVDs is a shelf of horror stuff, or horror like collectibles. My Netflix, like the one in Manchester, our Walmart sells. Oh, and it has like you know, like little yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the yeah, they had that over. The, yeah, the one here too. Yeah, I little too. collectibles. But our Walmart in Tullahoma is getting remodeled right now, so. And a lot of places are getting rid of movies. I think Target's I pulling movies out completely. I know Manchester has movies still. No, but I'm talking about, but like, I think Target is like completely getting rid of physical media. Um, kind of like how fucking, uh, who else was it did that? Kmart? I think like uh, Best Buy and shit don't have movies no more. <laughs> no, no, I think Best Buy might. No, still. they might not. They might not. I Just can't remember. Probably order online. Um, because I know that's where we got our movie, uh, the Wolf Pack. Yeah. Um, because it was an exclusive. I do like physical media. Uh, that I wonder what happened with that. What did they gonna? Did, wasn't they planning on doing a three? Or was that? I don't know. Oh man, Wolf Cop was a great movie. Wolf Cop Two is good too. Anyway, so um, Terrifier Three. Uh, they have an audience reaction trailer, and they describe the movie as disgusting, scary, and depraved, and traumatizing. Um, so this is just more of the... If you didn't like the second movie for the the intense gore, it's just going to be upscaled on this movie. I'm about uh, to make a comment right here. Go to the comments. What is that? Click on the comment right there. Click on, what, what's the one comment on this? Uh... I understand that there is an audience for this, but as Bobby Zimmerman once sang, it ain't me, babe. Okay, K. Turney. Yeah, uh, it's not me either. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of like super hardcore gore. It just... Are you ready for this? Just well, transfers, transition is over. Um, David, he's not a bad looking guy, but him as Art is not a good looking guy. And um, I I don't want to fuck Art. You imagine Art stinks. Yeah, he smells real bad. Trying to smell that bloody. That's like a big... he smells like sweat and shit. Did he shit? I don't know. Did he spread? Yeah, he spread shit all in the bathroom in the first movie. All over the walls and stuff. Remember. Barely. But yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Let's yeah, order it. your, uh, your, uh, Art the Clown the flesh flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, I'm a, I want to segue into this because it got, you know, ties in. But, uh, could Terrifier 4 come out in 2025? Question mark. Director Damon Leone says it might happen. 
So yeah. we hadn't even got the release of Terrifier 3 yet, and Terrifier 4 is possibly going to be at 2025. So that's a uh, little quick turnaround. So they're just filming these like crazy. How long before it's too much? Too many? Yeah, like he says, um, Damien said, like, depending on uh, how well Terrifier 3 does, he... He has a blueprint on like trying to end this. I don't know how. So if he's I'm playing like, on trying to end, end it, um, terrifier four in a right? satisfying way, but uh, art finally dies for real. He's, like he says, terrifier four probably would be the last, but um, we all know how that goes. Um, depending on how well uh, the movies do, like. You probably want to move into something else. Well, he knows he can fucking kill him out there, bro. Yeah, but you probably want to move into something else. Like, let the series calm down for a while. Yeah, don't want to be just stuck with... Yeah, you're the Arthur Clown guy. I only make Arthur Clown movies. Yeah, you're you're just the Terrifier guy. That's all you are. And no one wants to be stuck just doing one thing. Like he a might creative care, individual. He might not care about that. No, I imagine. He's he still making a shit ton of money. Yeah, but money's, once you get a certain amount of money... What, how much the art, the art that you want to create is a little bit more important than, you know what I'm saying? Because you'd have to get bored. He could probably just do four, never make another movie, and still make a good living <laughs> yeah. off of conventions. Yeah. And then, like, ro- royalties and stuff? Oh, royalties, man. I mean, they're doing um, is they're the doing clown? an Art the Clown popcorn bucket. And they're doing art. That's the fucking flashlight. Um, is it a face? I think so. It's oh, popcorn coming someone's out. Someone's gonna stick their dick in it. Um, wow, Tim Dan's already. Got and I think Art the Clown is gonna be in like Dead Light or Dead or Dead by Daylight or something. Oh, he's even got uh, he he's on uh, uh, Call of Duty. Art is. Yeah. So tells you how big Art has become. Yeah, like he's hit mainstream. He is a mainstream icon now. Um, he's 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 broken the barrier of just being amateur horror. Yeah, I see that. Um, of just being an amateur, you know, independent horror, he's he's hit the big time, man. You know? Yeah. So good, for, good for Damien, and uh, he created an, an icon. That's, I mean, how often does that happen? I can't. I, got, I mean, how often does that happen in the horror industry? Like, I, I what I tell him when he was even Something on, new. He's the he's a new horror icon. Yeah, I didn't say that. I always said I. We'll see. I wanted to see another movie. You know what I'm saying, like. But it's not up to you, Judge. Obviously, it don't matter. Uh, cause no, no, he is everywhere now. Yeah, he's everywhere now. So he broke. He, you know, you're a horror icon when you got people cosplay as you, tattoos of you. You're in Call of Duty. Yeah, but to me though, he's beyond just being in the horror community. He's uh, he's hit, he's hit mainstream. Like Freddie and Jason did. Like people's grandmothers know who he is. It's the word I'm looking for. He is a pop, pop culture icon. Yeah, the pop culture. Yeah, like he's beyond just horror. All right, let's move on. Um, see, uh, Five Nights at Freddy Two will be bigger, scarier than the first movie. Which, uh, you know, have you seen the Five Nights at Freddy? Most people have, especially if you got I mean, kids. Was it scary? Ah, uh, not really. It was kind of spooky, but. I don't know. That movie was super mid to me. I I, I don't know the game. It was alright. Like, this movie is meant definitely for like kids that play yeah, the it, game. It's so. scary for the younger generation. And I think it even got a a house of Halloween Horror Nights, I believe. I think possibly. Um, but it's also people kind of compare this one to uh, was it Willie's Willie's Wonderland? Yeah. Because, you know, it had animatronics in it, too. Yeah. So, so. Um, well, Willie's Wonderland, let's be honest. They knew that this movie was coming out. And they, yeah. They made it ahead. All right. You could have just got Nicolas Cage to play in this one. That would have been pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, Silent Night, Deadly Night, its 40th anniversary, will be coming on 4K and UHD and Blu-ray release on December the 10th, in time for Christmas. Um... We'll also have uh, a novelization bundle. Um, the 
The 4K and Blu-ray set goes for $35.99. The novelization bundle where you get a book. You know, did you understand what I meant by novelization bundle? Anyway, did you get a paperback novelization? Novelization, uh, I would definitely associate with a book. Okay. Some people might not have. But um, the novel by itself is $30, but if you want the bundle, it's $64.98. Um, this will be by screen, on the Screen Factory website. That makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, everyone, you know, 40 years um, younger, oh. younger than me. Because so, what is Jimmy? The reason that price is probably like that, because each one you buy, you're helping pay for the license. They, they... But even, like I say, 4K movies are... I mean, they're about like 35 36 40 dollars. So, cuz you're paying you're helping pay that restoration they had to pay. Yeah, and, and let's be license. honest, some of these restorations like when I went back and watched signs and dude, and I even look there it's right there. The the new movie cover that they put out for that 4K which I don't it's still up. I should order. Is it out? Already? Yeah. Damn, that I should have ordered that. Um um yeah, uh see uh the, even the movie cover looks fucking amazing. But yeah, the... It looks like, like a movie that just came out. Lost Boys, when I watched it. Did it like, look like a movie that just came out? Like, it's insane. When they were able to get the old, like the original film, and mm-hmm. able to upscale the original, original film, they it was like, did it. Now, it was now, actual film. The helicopter shots at night look like 1980s. <laughs> because it's not time. You know what I'm saying? The quality, you're just not gone. But, like, when they're up on a person, like, you're like, dude, this is fucking legit, man. Like, how do they get all these old movie props? <laughs> you know, for the 80s, man. Anyways. I'm sure there's something else here, Paul. Sorry, I just went out. I yeah, be on the that. free copy of that would have been amazing. We, we got the, I'm trying to find the... Where is it? I must have not clicked on it. This. Alien Country, a new sci-fi adventure coming this October. Wow, that alien looks fucking insane, dude. But uh, it's cool because I, I watched the trailer already. And uh, so this is not fair. And uh, Alien Country, Jimmy Walker, played by KC Clyde, is a small town demolition derby driver whose life takes a turn for the unexpected when his girlfriend, Everly, Rennie Grames, reveals she's pregnant. As if that news wasn't enough, the couple accidentally opens a mysterious portal, unleashing a horde of bio engineered alien creatures on their peaceful town. Now, Jimmy and Everly must put their relationship to the test as they team up to stop the extraterrestrial menace before it obliterates their town, their world, and everything they hold dear. With humor, heart, and a dash of chaos, Alien Country brings a fresh twist to the monster and invasion genre. The trailer actually looks pretty interesting, so uh, I got... What is this on? Digital screens on October 22nd, so it would be able, available to rent. Yeah. I already got the score, so we can watch it if you wish want. Try, wish our um, schedules lined up better, but. What are you doing tonight? Besides having to go to bed at 8. It's only 2. I'm going to go home and eat. <laughs> oh, you eat early. Oh, I mean, I got food cooked. We'll got October 22nd, so maybe. Yeah, we'll get Next it. Sunday we can watch it. Yeah. All right, um. Uh, all right, so uh, this is tough. I just recently put up on the website. I really want to highlight this because I'm fucking Crackcoon. It's one of the Crackcoon. Oh, it's this is on Scream Box. Yeah, Scream Box. Uh, I'm gonna have to Google the Crackcoon because I don't think I have a one by itself. But Crackcoon. Um, so I'm, I'm. I haven't even looked at what it's about or nothing. Don't tell me yet. If you do find out, I don't know. Rocket Raccoon meets uh, Cocaine Bear. That's what um, What I thought. Yeah. When a synthetically altered street drug is discarded in the woods by a drug dealer during a car chase with police, the fallout proves nothing less than horrific. 
when an in innocent raccoon eats it, transforming it into a nightmarish killing machine. Holy shit. Bruh. Uh, give me a second. Bruh. We're about to watch the trailer. And it's actually a one minute trailer, so it's not gonna like ruin. Oh, that's because of like Meth Gator and Cocaine Shark and Cocaine Cougar and Cat NATO. Bro, look at that. Cocaine look Crabs. Alright, so it's Cineverse, that makes sense. Uh, so there's like all kinds of fucking meth out. There's all kinds of meth out. Uh, Animals and cracked out animals genre. All right, so we're gonna check it out here. We'll meet our audio and just enjoy it. Oh, oh. Old Denny here's got something a little extra special for you two tonight. What are you talking about, bro? I'm talking about the latest thing to hit town: acid mine drainage. Oh. oh my god. Denny, they're pulling us over. What are we gonna do? Be careful out there today. I will. It's not like anything major is gonna happen. I need you to call the sheriff back. There's another dead body. I am telling you, it's a killer raccoon, okay? Oh my god. Uh, guys, if you So if, if you're just listening to this, these people which is like a stereotypical not even stereotypical drug dealer, but the raccoon. Look at this one. I'll go back to the screen. I got a pause. The raccoon, man. Look at this motherfucker though. But I mean the mouth moves, it's a good puppet. You know what I'm saying? I gotta right. send this to some friends. <laughs> um, I'm interested. I am. I'm interested. saying it's the Yeti for sure. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Yeti soon will be coming on the podcast to catch up. So, uh, dude, that that's fucking amazing. That, I swear, I got Grundy Nation feel on that, didn't you? Oh, hundred percent. Did you watch Auburn? Did you ever get to watch it? I don't think I did. Dude, you got to watch it. I sent you the link, right? I don't know. That's so good. I forgot all about it. Uh, when does that come out? Oh, I got pulled up right here. Dude, do I not have a home button? What the fuck? Actual fuck? Oh, give me a second. I'll get. Anyways, yeah. Uh, hey, you need to get a home button. I'll cover thirteenth. It was from, wait, Crackoon, which is now streaming. So, oh, Crackoon is now streaming on Screenbox. I think you have to have a subscription for Screenbox. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. All right. Um, so, this is already out. Uh, I put it on the website. It's Conjuring the Pulp. It's an independent horror film. I don't believe I watched the trailer. But uh, Conjuring the Cult followed David Bryson, a father devastated by the loss of his daughter, struggling with the nightmares and overwhelming grief. David attends a self-help group in hopes of finding solace. However, his journey takes a dark turn when a group of en enigmatic women offer, aka uh, witches, uh, offer him a chance to resurrect his daughter. A David, not good. Yeah. As David grapples with the implications of their offer, both his fate and his daughter's soul may uh, hang in the balance, leading to a harrowing exploration of love, loss, and price of resurrection. You know what the price is? Um, your soul is lost to hell, I guess. He's got to fuck all the witches. And they're very unattractive. They I they... mean, there could be a lot worse things happen. They look like the witches. Like you could be possessed. They 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 look like the witches from Lord of Salem. You, if if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's a bunch of old women naked. Like old eighties. 
There could be a lot of worse things happen. <laughs> He's still going to stay with you. I mean, that, I mean, let's be honest. Worse things could still happen, Jimmy. Yeah, than fucking old people. I mean, that's not like top priority of mine or, or want or desire. Our buddy, our buddy Yeti would probably like... It's not even a low desire. Yeah, like, Yeti would be like, dude, one. that is a fantasy. <laughs> yeah, it's a non-existent desire. witches? Oh, he's banging them all day long, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I just, I, yeah. Oh, Jerry, his geriatric fetish, you know what he always said? Yeah. Dude, he sent me a picture. He got a, uh, it was Yeti's birthday recently. I think he's celebrating today. Uh, kind of or something. His wife, or I think his wife got him a, a boa constrictor. So they're getting into oh, yeah, the reptilian uh, collections. I think they're about to get a corn snake next. But, dude, his beard is like down to here. He's got a big old beard now. I don't like snakes. They're a, They're dirty. Yeah, I'm not. I had a corn snake when I was a kid. They're like real, like they piss all over themselves. Oh yeah, it's it gets stinky. You know, yeah, you yeah. you got to put that stuff down like you do in a hamster cage and all yeah, that. You got to change it like out. That pine shavings yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and they. Piss oh, you know what I fucked up and did one time? I put my hand in the cage. The the snake, because me and my brother had uh, it was a brother and sister, and there was their name. I got them for my cousin. Which the one that I had the tattoo of that died, he uh he 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 didn't want to take care of them no more, or didn't want them no more or something. So we took them. Uh, they were named Bonnie and Clyde. That's what I figured. And one was albino, it was orange though. Mm-hmm. And the other one was brown, typical color, I guess. But I was feeding them, and I was like, oh well, she don't see the damn rat. So I and she saw my hand go in, and then saw the rat. And went for it and hit me in the hand instead. So I got bit. Scared the fuck out of me and it hurt. Had two little puncture marks. But corn snakes are not venomous. So it didn't. No, nothing. So they you just, didn't die. Oh, well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you made a ghost and I'm haunting you for uh, the past 11 years or 10, whatever it is. It's been a horrific experience. <laughs> I can't get rid of this. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Jesus. But yeah, anyways. You didn't uh, get, it didn't get infected? No. But yeah, that's uh, my story of snakes. So we had those. Like, we uh, gave them away to somebody because we couldn't take 10 to them anymore. But uh, yeah, it's, I couldn't watch it now because I'm too soft hearted. I couldn't watch a snake eat a live rat and watch it squeeze it to death. It just, I'd cry. So, uh,. Yeah. yeah, I'm not big into that. Yeah, I, just, I don't like seeing nothing. Like, dude, I'll be scrolling through TikTok, and if I see someone or something about to get, even if it's an animal killing another animal to eat it, I'm like, yep, yeah, nope, not watching that. We watched a video of like, it was all truckers like wrecking, like, you know, the videos that I watch. Yeah. And I was just like, and they showed one where dude died, and I'm like, what? Why would you show this? I, There's no need to show that. I don't even like watching people fighting each other no more. Even if the motherfucker deserves it, I just... It's just I'm okay with that. I still, it's not like a brutal beatdown. Like, I don't want to see... But like, like somebody being a douchebag and they get punched. You know, I still, like, I'm okay I with that. I still scroll past it because... I don't know, I guess in your older age maybe something happens, but... I'm older than you, Jenny. Well, I think it's the romance comedy stuff that you really like and mind that stuff. There's nothing wrong with it, Johnny. I'm, I'm not saying there's any. You're just more tense. Man, your war movies are amazing. Oh, my God. I don't think so. I'm going to say that's not true. Sir, you do not be talking about the queen movie, okay? Now she's a queen. Wow. Queen of my heart. No, that's my wife. You fucking murdered me. Um, my uh, movie. That, that bitch can uh, pay your bills. She got the money. She could definitely pay our bills. She ain't paying them though. She don't know who I am. If she, if she, if she ever, only knew she'd fall directly in love. She could be my financial mama. I weird it up. She's older than me, so she could still be my mom. Look up how old she is. Who? I don't know. How old my hate more is? She's not older than you. How do you know? 
You think she, I'm older than Mandy Moore? How old is Mandy Moore? She can still be my mom even though she's 40 years old. <laughs> she's the same age. Anyways, um, let's move on. She can be my sugar mama. Behind the basement door. She burned, burned up my basement door. Don't, don't, pull, uh -oh. don't pull that out. Don't pull that one out. Never <laughs> no, mind. She's not even near the basement anymore. I don't have a basement, so you can go snoop all you want. Why is it so big? <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, I didn't make... Did I actually hit them? Shit. I, I right. recently... So, guys, scientists, this is on the mirror, so, scientists claim Bible is proof that we are characters living in an advanced AI world. This U is advanced? The University of Portsmouth um, Professor Melvin Vopson said there are clues in the New Testament section of the Bible that could indicate humans are indeed living in a simulation, baby. So, so right now, as we're speaking, someone is typing what we're talking about. Well, I think um, they're not really typing in. Where they already gave us free, um, like we're been programmed, I guess. To Motherfucker, do. I need a reprogramming of my financial situation, please. This is all I'm gonna say is, give me the fucking money cheat, bro. Uh, where are you yeah. at? Where are you at up there? Come can on, can we get a money cheat? That motherfucker's laughing. It's like, yeah, give me a money cheat, fucker. And all they hear is, then we got to sell our soul to the AI devil. Well, who is he? Who is this motherfucker? Then they're going to, they're going to like type it or figure out something to type in. And then we get diddy. Yeah. And then we're going to be like the baby oil king yeah, over here. Well, big bald baby oil kings. I mean, we're already kind of embarrassment, so. Well, we do get like these two dudes on TikTok commenting all the time, uh, saying thinking that we're gay with each other. Yeah, I mean they we're... and they and they say something about something about we're on this mountain or something. I don't understand the fascination of them two guys. Maybe they're butt buddies with each other or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they got a fantasy of two big guys, bears. Is that is that bears right? I guess can't. Yeah. Bears gotta be hairy. I'm not hairy. I'm bald. I'm a bald bear, dog. So I guess uh, oh, what he's saying is he pointed to the Gospel of John in the New Testament and having clues. And in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So I don't know. Um. Makes a lot of sense to me. The Bible itself tells us that we are in the simulation. It also tells us who is doing it. It is done by an AI and artificial intelligence. The, so what he's saying is that God is, is the AI that has created us. Hmm. And that's why we're the only ones... Um, That's why we're the only ones in this whole universe that's alive in this solar system that we know of. And this one guy says, oh, J. Boo 7. J. Boo? Yeah, oh, J. Boo. Ooh. He claims that, um, correct, are good to, um, that the word is a mistranslation already in the Latin Bible and from hence in the further translated text. Um, it should be love. I guess is that what he's saying? Calling Luther's great love for the term and his strong pre wait, what? So we're um I don't he he doesn't show where like the same uh he doesn't have the same uh whatever verse on here that says like uh in the beginning there was God and God was the beginning or whatever it is. The word. He doesn't say what it is, so. I don't know what that means. Um, fruitcake. Yeah, oh, 53, 53, 53 just comments fruitcake. 
Um, it's only me. Uh, I mean, he's definitely smoking something. And White Wolf 69. Hey, 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 White Wolf. Got the 69 in there. Ah, yes, the fictional book. None of it is real. It is sold in the fiction section of bookstores. Is it? That's what I always saw. I think one when we had uh, Hastings, it was in the fiction section. No clue. Give some back pain. So transparent mice. Um, could transparent mice one day lead to humans with see-through skin? So as we know, like we were talking about the transparent mice thing with uh, some sort of food dye um, found in crisp and soft drinks that uh, turn mice skins see-through. Uh, yeah, one day this could be everyone, and they could operate on you easily or easily or uh the fun thing is is um that they're allowed to put this dye in our food and in our drinks why do they want to turn us transparent i'm just saying though why are you putting toxic chemicals in our food and drinks so that it doesn't uh the color doesn't separate or add color to it yes it's weird for profit and money I just still don't understand why. And the government allows it. The government start, allows it. Didn't you see something where they're about to start banning certain ingredients? I hope so. We need to get rid of uh, corn, the art, was it high fructose corn syrup? And just put sugar in that shit. Because hell, all, that's all they do in the UK is to have real sugar, don't they? Technically, uh, it it's technically high fructose corn syrup has the same glucose as regular sugar. So. The only issue is, is that high fructose corn syrup, when you consume one certain thing, too much of one thing, one product like corn, corn's in everything, it will cause cancers because overconsumption of anything will give you cancer. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to change out your diet. The problem is, though, too, it's not just the high fructose corn syrup. It's the other chemicals put into like drinks and soda, like, like even what's his name come out? Oh, uh, Kennedy that was running for president. He's like, yeah, the stuff that's put in like asphalt, they figured could color food. Like it's a chemical and they use it as food dye. Yeah. To make food more yellow. And you can't get away from it. Is that like yellow number five? It's not even, it was something else. Like, you can't get away from it. Like, it, it's put in shit that it shouldn't even be put in. Like, they're just so that the color's better. And then it causes, like, sodas not to separate, like, uh, Mountain Dews and stuff, I guess. But anyway, and Gatorades and all that shit, man. Instead well, of just having it clear. That's because most drinks are clear, huh? Yeah. Well, like an orange soda, they want an orange, a grape soda, yeah. they want gra a purple. Yeah. And then they all, you know, like Coca-Cola and Pepsi are, what, brown or whatever. Yeah. And then Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow are green. You no, know, like a pea color. Yeah. So. Well, uh, we hope you enjoyed this podcast. Um, we talked about a bunch of weird stuff, um, off-topic stuff. Uh, Bruh. Come to the Big Ball Buddy Horror Meetup, Haunt Meetup, I mean, in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, at Dread Hollow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, Saturday, October 12th, guys. Gals. If Anyone's you, welcome. So, if you've ever been uh, acted in a haunt, worked at a haunt, haunt hangover is real. I got home at 1.30 this morning, slept till maybe about 5 or 6. Well, also, though, it's because it's so far away for you. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's, like it's 15 minutes. Yeah, if you live like 20 minutes away, if you live like 20 minutes away, it would be different. You know what I mean? Oh, it would be phenomenal. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sleepy as fuck. Uh, and it's wearing on me now. But anyways, uh, appreciate y'all joining. And uh, if you've been listening to us for nine years. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ten years coming up. We got to plan on something big for our team here. 
I don't know what, but we we got almost a whole year to figure it out, huh? Yeah. Be cool to do a. Be cool, cool for Jim Jam to eat some pastrami. That has nothing to do with oh. the pork base. Oh, my bad. Oh, what the fuck? I might as well if we can record our 10th anniversary in the Cineplex with an audience. An audience of four. We'll, 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 get, we'll trick them. We'll tell them someone's going to be there. <laughs> they not. <laughs> oh, they canceled last minute. Like, literally, just five seconds ago, Shoot. as y'all walked in. Shoot. Dadgummit. Man. Oh, man, that sucks, guys. Put it in five Yeah, Ben five. will be like, yeah, man, uh, you think you could do it on a Tuesday night when no one comes? <laughs> That'd be all right, but... Yeah, make sure you go uh, go hit up uh, Halloween Hollow Haunt if you're in the Middle Tennessee area. You can get flannels. I'm buying all my flannels from you. So I can pay my mortgage for the next two months. Slaughterhouse and Dread Hollow. Dread Hollow. Greenville. Yeah. I'd love to go to Screenville, go play some putt putt golf. Uh, old Doug gonna put some putt putt in my motherfucker. Yeah, we gotta get up there and see old Doug sometime. I don't know I don't know if it'll be feasible this year because No. Unless you went on Halloween night. No, nope, you work on Fridays. I'm gonna be off uh, the Friday after Halloween. Unless I just become completely rebellious and tell them to fuck yourself, I'm going to fucking Knoxville. I won't be at work Saturday. That'll work out great. Well, Friday. But then I gotta work Sunday, so. Friday. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank y'all for listening. We appreciate you. Hope you have a good spooky season. Be safe out there. Oh, yeah. Go visit your local haunt. All right, Johnny. Um, I am Jim Jam. This is Jim Jam. That's Johnny with the big ball buddies. Uh, did I fuck it up? No, you, you were doing good until now. I guess. I thought I fucked it up. This is Jim Jam. That's Johnny with the big ball buddies. That's all we got. It'll always be That's like that. That's all this, we got. Johnny. What? That's all we got. We out. Peace. I had to run it through my mind again Jesus. because it's new. Oh, man. It'll never. We did take two last week. We're not doing take three. Thank you for listening to Jim Jam and John in the Horror Basement and Beyond. Please follow, like, share, and rate us wherever you listen to us. 